Okay, so here we are with Paulina and we're going to be doing a reverse lunge. So a dynamic single leg activity where we are looking at coordination of movement rather than looking at isolated movements. A great exercise for improving dynamic um, postural um, stability. So what Paulina is going to do is she's going to start off in a running stance position. So she's going, you can see that her non-weight bearing heel is towards her calf. Her toes are pointing to her nose, so she's in full dorsiflexion. Her left elbow, or the elbow that's closest to you, is in a high elbow flexion. And her, fa her fingers are pocket to socket, so you can see. It. So it's just a, a, a frame of reference that we use. So her left thumb is towards her back pocket, and her right thumb is towards her shoulder socket. Now what she's going to do here is she's going to go into a reverse lunge and maintain good static stability. So you can see here that her knee is about a millimeter off the ground. She's holding this position for the moment because we're just going to make some adjustments. So her back elbow now should be higher. So a little bit more elbow bend, good. Now what a lot of people do in this position is that they do a bit too much trunk lean forward so just lean forward a second okay so we don't want that we want her to be leaning back so she's going to get a huge stretch through the anterior thigh now i don't expect patients to stay this long in this position because that's quite a tough position from this position to get out of this position what she's got to do with her front heel is push the heel into the ground and drive up now that's the concentric part, so the next time she's going to do that bit a little bit quicker. So she's back up into her starting position and then she's going to go back so you can see she's got to do a systems check. So the back knee is about a millimeter off the ground, she's leaning backwards and to get up from there now she's got to drive her front heel into the ground. So she was doing that a little bit slow that time, but that's okay, that's cool. So good starting position there again. So. Paulina, can you can you do it from the other side, please? So just the other the other leg. So can you change? No, can you change? Give sides? us a look again. Okay, cool. So now you can see that front um, thumb is towards her shoulder socket, and again the heel is in line with the calf, not too high. It's not too far forward or not too far behind. The back elbow is still a bit lazy, so we want that to go up into higher elbow flexion. And now she's going to go into a reverse lunge. So we use this as part of an assessment and as part of rehab. She has to do her system check, so she's got toes to nose, ankle dorsiflexion, heel to calf when she's in that standing position, pocket to socket. She's got a slight lean forward now, which what she needs to do is put her center of pressure on her foot a bit further forward. So you could almost get a credit card underneath her standing heel. And then goes back into that reverse lunge and drives up so that's the reverse lunge we use it as an assessment we also use it as a rehabilitation um, exercise you can make it harder by adding some weight into it as well we're looking at the quality of movement rather than the quantity of movement so it's all and and we would pr we would probably prefer this over um a squat where um it doesn't mimic a very i guess sporting um, activity when you look at the likes of soccer or the NFL or rugby or lacrosse where the pelvis is always spitting. What I mean by that is that you've always got one hip in flexion while one hip is in extension and running is a combination of triple flexion, triple extension, that's flexion of the hip, knee and ankle and extension of the hip, knee and ankle which is what Paulina was doing there. Hope you enjoyed the video guys.